We are going to work on problem number 489 on lean code, robot room cleaner. So let us see what the question is. It's a hard problem. You are controlling a robot that is located somewhere in a room. The room is modeled as an M cross N binary grid where zero represents a wall and one represents an empty slot. The robot starts at an unknown location in the room that is guaranteed to be empty and you, you do not have access to the grid but you can move the robot using the given API robot. So this is important here. Uh, we cannot directly access the uh, uh, different parts of the board but we can only do it using uh, this robot API. You are tasked to use the robot to clean the entire room, clean every empty cell in the room. The robot with the four given APIs can move forward, turn left or turn right. Each turn is 90 degrees. When the robot tries to move into a wall cell, its bumper sensor detects the obstacle and it stays on the current cell. So we need to design an algorithm to clean the entire room using the following APIs. So these are the APIs given here. And it is also written that the initial direction of the robot will be moving, uh, will be facing up. And we can assume all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by a wall, right? So we have an example as well. Let us see uh, how we can go about this problem. So this is a similar graph as uh, was there in the question. And in this graph, green dot represents uh, the location of the robot. All the red X's represent an obstacle. And outer perimeter, we can assume that it is the boundary of the room. And this is also an obstacle itself, right? So we need to write an algorithm to clean the room using the API given here. So robot has four APIs, one move. So wherever we are facing, wherever the robot is facing, it'll just move in the same direction if move uh, is called. And let us say that we are, we are here, the robot is here and there is an obstacle right opposite. Then in that case, move will not move and I think uh, it will return a null, null value. So we can detect it. And then there is turn left API, in which case it just turns wherever it is. So it, if it is facing up, it will start facing left. Turn right will do the opposite. So if it is facing up, it will start facing right. And then clean. So clean is the most important API in this case, because clean is the thing that is eventually doing the objective thing that the question is asking. So if you see, this feels like a, pretty much like a maze questions if you have solved them earlier. Um, but the only difference is that in a typical maze question, you can move from one point to another and it is just about calling the, uh, uh, it's usually a matrix. So calling the matrix with the right indices. But in this case, we cannot directly access any, any point. There is this robot and that will be moving uh, in, in some direction. So it's not automatic. We'll need to manually, or, or when I say manually, through code, we'll need to uh, make those movements. So it is slightly different. It is not the same. So that gives me a feeling that there might be a DFS or BFS based solution, but because it is slightly different, it is not going to be the same. We'll have to make some changes. Now specifically about BFS, BFS might not fit here because in the case of BFS, it's a level order uh, access, right? So let's say that we are here and first the robot will have to go here, 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 here. Then after that, in the next step, it will go here, 
uh, here here so um, all the all the points which are directly uh, adjacent to um, the next level but that is probably not going to be very efficient because it will have to come back and then restart from there so probably uh, dfs will be a better solution where it can go in the same line until there is an obstacle and then it can take a turn uh, and it will do that until there is an obstacle again shift go somewhere else and that can go on and on so let us think uh, how the DFS solution is going to work. So one thing is clear that we'll need to have an external visited set or a map. And uh, whenever we move to some place, we will need to mark that place. Now, because we are not given with any uh, specific coordinate or wherever we are, we can imagine that the current location, the location where the robot starts is 0, 0. So that's the assumption that, that we are going to go with. From 0, 0, if it is goes in the right direction, then we add 1 to the uh, first coordinate. So we consider this is x, this is y. And if it goes in the left direction of the uh, origin, then it becomes minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. Similarly for y, if it goes up, then we increase this value. If it is goes down, then we decrease this value, right? So we'll take care of this visited uh, map. Then this is going to be a backtracking based algorithm. Um, so as most of the DFS solutions are, this is also going to use recursion. In each recursive step, um, so if you have worked with other recursive uh, problems, usually recursive uh, problems would have one terminating condition and then some branches. So in this case, what is that uh, terminating condition or different branches? So in our case, um, we can think that there are branches at every step. So when we go here, um, the robot can move into uh, um, a few different directions, four different directions, right? So these four are different, four different branches of our recursive step and we'll do that one after another. So until this point, I think everything is just the same. But when we are leaving the uh, recursion, then we'll, then we'll have to make sure that we are cleaning up after uh, leaving the recursive step. And that cleanup will be, uh, so let's say that we are exploring this right side branch. So the robot goes there and then it finds an obstacle. And let's say that it finds an obstacle everywhere. So from that point, it will probably have to come back, right? Because it's a rec recursive step. So whenever we return from uh, this recursive step, uh, we need to make sure that the code is in the same step where it was when it entered this box. So that uh, thing will be taken care of by this cleanup step. And we'll see how uh, the cleanup uh, code is going to work. So here is a brief, uh, is the brief uh, algorithm that we are going to follow here. Um, the backtracking algorithm. So we start backtracking with location and direction. We call it DIR. First of all, um, whatever the current location is, we mark it visited. So you remember our code is starting from here. Uh, in the beginning, there is no location given. So we have assumed that it is going to be 0, 0. So this location is 0, 0 and we mark it visited. Then we clean. Uh, so, so there was this clean API, if you remember, robot comes with clean API and uh, uh, three more move and right and left. So out of them, uh, we do the cleaning step here. Then after that, uh, we go into the branch step of this recursive algorithm. So uh, we loop through all four directions, starting with the top one. So from zero to three, so zero, one, two, three. Um, and then, uh, so this is interesting here, see? 
so every time the loop runs we are going to add one and then two sorry zero and then one and then two and then three to the current direction and uh, and post that we are taking a modulus with four so this makes sure that even if uh, the value this this value goes beyond four or beyond three it remains the final value comes in between zero and three so it is going to uh, wrap around uh, zero to three and why 0 to 3 so what we are trying to do here is that every integer 0 1 2 3 they will be mapped with some direction so in this case uh, let's say 0 is going to be mapped with up 1 is going to be mapped with right 2 is going to be mapped with down and 3 is going to map going to be mapped with left using these directions using the current direction that we receive we are going to calculate the next location and the coordinates of next location once we have those coordinates then we'll see whether we have uh, this next location in the visited map or not if it is not in the map then we try and move the robot um, if it doesn't move that means there is an obstacle and in case if it moves then we have successfully entered the recursive step which means from here onward we'll need to call backtrack uh, function again and we'll be calling backtrack with next location and the direction uh, the, the current direction that is there in this loop so um, first it is going to be up then right then down and then finally left so that's what it is saying once we are done following all the directions then we uh, go to that cleanup step so this is this cleanup step go back and how do we do that this go back function um, uh, so so here see let's say that we are uh, the robot is looking um, in the uh, north direction we make two turns so it makes one turn here so it is looking in the east then it makes another turn so it is looking in the south now we make it move one step so it goes here and then we make it turn two times again so it will look in the left direction and then upwards so um, right before it would have entered this box it was in this condition right so this go back step makes sure that it is exactly in the same condition when it, where it was when it entered this box so um, now that we are done with the algorithm we can start following it and i think if you haven't understood it yet this is where things will start making sense so we'll see and we'll follow the algorithm that i've just told you and we'll try to uh, uh, visit all the places uh, using this board so let's start I'll take red color in the beginning so this is where we are and I'm going to mark this place visited first so this is visited now and then right after visiting we uh, uh, we clean it so visited and uh, cleaning you could consider them as synonymous so if i marked it as visited you could consider it like uh, i have cleaned it as well the robot has cleaned this space right after visiting we then go into the branch step where we one by one explore all the directions right so we go one step further the first step is going to be this up so I'll say I have visited this space. I'll mark it one. Now we are here. So here as well, the first step is going to be marking it visited. Then we try and go up. But now there is an obstacle, which means it cannot go there. So it will take a right. And meanwhile, I mark it that I visited. So this is the second uh, box that uh, we have marked as visited here. So from here, we go in the... Hmm, so I'm going to mark the direction that we entered this box with. So this is how we entered. And then from here, we go here. 
so this is going to be the next box and then this is three now uh, again there is an obstacle so it cannot go in this direction so we take a right we come here and this is going to be fourth box now from here the same direction it is going to be this right so we from from box number four we enter box number five now the current direction is this so the next direction is going to be right of this direction so this direction um, so from y from from downwards we uh, turn in the clockwise direction which is the reason this is going to be the next box so from five we come here and it is going to be six now there is another box right after six so we enter here this will be your seventh box and then it uh, reaches an obstacle so it will take another clockwise turn and see what is here it can go here so it is going to be our eighth box then from eight we go to ninth box and at nine it sees an obstacle again so it looks at right side there is um, the box is already visited so it cannot enter there then it looks down this box is already visited oh sorry i forgot to mark them visited all of them so they are visited and this one and it looks here this is also visited so it looks in this direction this is the next direction and this is not visited so it is going to enter here and i'll call it 10 then after this this is the next box so it comes here now this is going to be the next direction and there is an obstacle then it looks here and here as well it sees a box which is already visited so it takes a, a turn and goes in the downward direction so this is going to be 12 and it goes down mm, then it continues in this direction this goes going to be 13 and another tick then from here it takes a right there is an obstacle it takes another right there is there is uh, the box is already visited it takes another right this box is marked as uh, an obstacle so finally after completing all the directions which is this direction this direction this direction this direction it finishes uh, the recursive step so this is the first time that we are we have reached the go back step so from here it takes a turn now i'll remind you again what go back does at go back it turns right two times then moves one step and then turns right two times again this turn right could also be a turn left that would have been fine so two times turn left and then two times turn left again uh, in fact if you think from robots perspective i think turn left would be slightly better because everywhere it has been taking a right turn so in order to make sure that the uh, bearing works well on the left side uh, we should probably do it uh, turn left well that aside uh, here it is currently looking in this direction so when it goes back it will go to this box and it will find itself in the same position as it was when it entered so let's do a go back step now mm. so i'll just draw it in this direction so it is easier to understand that we are going back with the red pen now we go back from 12 as well so at 12 see uh, this was the first box that it encountered so when it goes back it is still looking here and then uh, in the recursive step this would have been the next box this would have been the next box after that but see this is an obstacle and this box has already been visited so this would be uh, the next box that it will go to so from 13 it will go to uh, 14 so let me mark 14 here and this 
also gets marked as visited right now from 14 uh, eighth it will find as already visited box so it will take a turn again from here right so we should mark it as a turn rest of the boxes are visited or obstacles so it takes a turn here then it reaches this box so um, so after this direction this would have been the next direction and sorry this would have been the last direction right so uh, this box would have been out of options which means at this point it will take a turn back so it goes back from here now then it reaches this box rest of the boxes have been visited so it will go back from here as well go back from here then it reaches box number nine so box number nine would see that uh, this is visited this was the last step so it will go back from here now it reaches box number eight for box number eight this would have been the first box that it visited now it looks at the right side right side is already visited then it looks uh, at box number seven that is already visited it looks at box number 14 already visited so it will have to turn back from here as well it reaches box number seven this would have been the first box it visited this is already visited this is already visited this is an obstacle this is an, this is an obstacle so it will take a turn from here as well then we reach this box in this case this was the first box that was visited second box third box fourth box so we come here right uh, so we had counted until 14 this is going to be 15 now let me mark it 15 and we go 15 this is going to be 16 then let me also mark it 16 clockwise this direction so we go here this is going to be 17 then 18 then 19 and then finally it hits a wall here it is an obstacle and then it looks at uh, the direction behind this cell is visited so the recursive step is over and this is where it starts going back so we go back from here same thing happens here so it goes back it goes back and then it reaches this step so this would have been its second uh, wall that it would have uh, uh, inspected then third this is already visited so it would enter this box so from 19 we enter 20th box let me mark it hmm. 20 then after 20 21 22 and then 23 and all of them would be marked as visited 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 here it hits the ball it will turn back from here so now we start with the go back step go back go back go back and then after reaching here see first second third first second third fourth wall so all the options have been visited now it will turn back from 16 as well then 15 as well and then it reaches this six box so first second third fourth all the boxes have been visited that means it will have to turn back from six now so it turns from six for fifth first second third fourth so this is the fourth direction uh, which means now we can go and enter this place we have counted until 23 so this is going to be 24th box 24th then from 24th it is going to be 25 then going to be 26 now from 26 it tries to look up 
uh, the same direction and there is an obstacle there is an obstacle here this box has been visited let me mark it visited this was as well this has been visited so it goes in this direction now and it is going to be 27 then 28 and let me mark them visited and then at 28 it looks up there is obstacle there is obstacle here this has been visited and then it enters this box so this is going to be 29 then from 29 it looks here uh, nothing nothing visited so it enters here so this is going to be 30th let me mark that visited at 30th this is visited this is blocked this is visited this is visited so now it makes a go back move from here it goes here this uh, was the last step so it goes from here same thing goes back goes back and then from here see this would have been the last one so goes back goes back goes back and then reaches here so here one two three four all done which means it can go back from here go back from here and then it reaches here and then it finally goes back from here goes back from here and then it finally reaches the origin point goes back here uh, let me mark it not red but some other color so that there is no confusion now once it reaches this step now you can see it has completed all the directions this is done this is done this is done this is done so now we have no other box left it has ensured which means we can stop the algorithm here so this was a full example that you have covered with me uh, i hope it made sense and now you understand how the algorithm works uh, we can probably start coding it now coding is going to be much easier let us see so first of all we create a visited set and we have a, we are going to have a backtrack function that will take care of everything so we call backtrack with current locations visited map and other than that it is going to be the direction so i'll call zero as up so we call up as direction if you remember in the question it was written that uh, the first direction that the robot is looking at is uh, up and then finally robot to uh, make sure that the api is accessible there and then backtrack um, this is going to be our location i'll call it um, row and column visited then directions and then robot finally now let's define what directions do we have outside this loop so directions is going to be a hash so we have zero and zero would mean we are going up so when we go up y is added and zero x remains the same so zero comma one then one is going to be the right direction x increases y remains the same so one comma zero then we go downwards x remains the same y decreases so x remains the same y decreases and then finally left where x decreases y remains the same we'll be using this in this function very soon so you remember in the um, backtracking step what was the first thing that we were doing we were marking it visited so let's mark it as visited the very first thing 
we have visited and we'll add um, it visited let's make a key key could be the row and the column now it is visited mm. mark visited after that the actual the most important thing clean so robot dot clean um, then we come to the recursive step we have to explore all four directions so i'll do a let and uh, for let um, i is equal to zero to three i plus plus so these are our four directions and let's take current direction from this current direction is going to be dir plus i and then we take a modulus with four so that we know that it is going to be uh, in the range of zero to three once we know the current direction we need to know what is going to be the next coordinate so uh, we know the original one was row and column now it is going to be according to the current direction so current direction we already have and current direction uh, can take values from here so let x is equal to um, directions and inside that um, current current direction and from there it will get x value and y value so let's just assign it directly at the same time x comma y so now we have our x value we have our y value which means we can have our final value where the robot is going so now let us check if that place has already been visited or not so if visited has this value and that is x plus row and y plus column if it already has it which means we don't need to go there and if it doesn't then we go there so if it doesn't then we go inside and then try going inside for real so for that we are going to use our api if robot dot uh, move if it moves that means we are now inside hmm now that we are inside then um, we need to finally backtrack anything else backtrack into the new um, new location x plus row comma y plus column then we pass the visited set new direction here so that is going to be current direction and then finally passing the robot api now that it has moved there and it has made sure that it is visited or not finally we make the robot turn right so robot turn right that's where the most important part of our algorithm ends and then we will write the cleanup code so cleanup code and that is going to be go back we don't have a go back yet so let's just write it quickly function go back this will need access to robot api so i'll call robot robot and then do you remember we were taking two times right or well two times left let's do a two times left so robot dot turn left robot dot turn left you could also use a loop here if you wish then we make it move so it goes back 
and then finally we make it turn left twice again about but turn yeah i think that's that's all what is needed here uh, so you see why did we turn it left because we were turning it right all the time so just to equalize that turn right we are turning it left here well you could do anything that's okay so i think that's this looks okay let me try and run it oh there was some error did not clean all rooms did i miss something let me check mm -hmm. but the api is all right found it it's a very silly mistake so it had to be from 0 until 3 or it would have been less than 4 let's try running it yeah it does work let me submit it now oh yes it does work i guess we are good thanks a lot